All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's just said, Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Um, I want to go on this lesson on, um, you know, um, now is not the time uh, to be asleep. You know, it's now now is the time to wake up out of our sleep. You know, America is uh is not our rest. Okay, um, which uh talking about spiritually. Okay, um, I got this scripture, um, Romans thirteen and eleven, and that knowing the time that now it is high time to wake to awake out of sleep. But now is our salvation nearer than when we believed, okay? Which, you know, uh, spiritually, you know, a lot of our people go through, um, you know, problems in this, uh, in this uh, world, okay, in this society. And, um, you know, they, they, they try to find different escapes to um to kind of um deal with the problems that they um have you know you go to work all week and then you know you got you got to deal with uh the problems uh outside of work you know and then some people what do they do you know when it's time for that weekend you know they go to to, to go party and you know to go have fun Heck, you even have people that have the mindset that in 10, 20 years from now that they're going to be still here, you know, that they, they what, what are you going to be doing five years from now plan, you know, and it's like the, the, this, the, the, the time for our salvation is near, you know, it's not the time for, for, for playing around. You know, playing games to be sleeping, you know, to be chilling and, you know, having all types of fun. Okay, which that's what a lot of our people just care about, uh, entertainment, okay? Uh going on trips and stuff, you know, having vacations and so on and so forth. You know, that's what a lot of our people uh care about. But the scriptures say that, you know, it is high time because, you know, you got a lot of tensions uh, building up, you know, they're talking about, well, there's rumors of uh, nuclear war, okay, um, a lot of uh, destruction that is about to come, man, you know, are you planning on uh, being here five years from now when you don't even know if Donald Trump going to make it through his term, you know, it's, it's, it's World War Three. they, you know, you're trying to go on vacation while they talking about blowing up stuff, man. You know, um, Proverbs 19 and 15, it says slothfulness causes into, I mean, cast if into a deep sleep, you know, because heck, when, when it comes down to, uh, knowing, um, the times and what's going on, you know what I'm saying? Why, why, um, when, when the Lord is going to come, you know what I'm saying? And what, what's going to happen? Okay, you got people that that aren't studying, and they they you know being slothful when it comes down to even uh, watching the videos, you know, um, the 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 cares of this world, man, you know, being slothful when it comes down to uh to to studying to 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 come and discover with with the brothers and stuff like that, you know, that comes into a that that puts you. Sometimes in that deep sleep, okay? And then it says, and an idle soul shall suffer hunger, you know? And it's, a, you know, we eating out here, man, you know? The the, the scriptures is, is equated to, to uh, food, man, okay? You're supposed, to, you're supposed to eat this, man, you know? Whereas though, you got people that um, are looking at the fact that... Um, you know the, the the food out here they they want to 
try to get eat this food and stuff like that. That even ties into um into the um the uh I'm sorry the the the, the food that people eat out here in this society goes into uh people being um hungry, you know, or, or having uh diseases, you know, based off of the things that they eat. Okay, and these scriptures, you know, puts you it it fills you up, you know. It, and it's that it's that food uh for the uh soul you know um because i had the um the definition for um for uh for uh sick okay um these scriptures are are um are are food for the soul okay and a lot of our people are um in a sick state of mind okay let me get this first Um, Isaiah, the book of Isaiah, um, one and, uh, and three, the ox knoweth his owner and his ass, the master's crib. Okay. So, uh, a ox and a donkey, you know, no, no, knows an owner, knows, uh, who his owner is. And a and a donkey knows, you know, uh, the crib, okay, where where master where master is from, and everything, man. It says, but Israel does not does not know. My people do not consider. The Lord people don't don't consider the fact of who they are. You know, they so so busy thinking that the Bible teaches religion when it doesn't. Okay, um, like I said, the Bible talks about you know waking up out of your sleep, man. Okay, and um, our people are in a sleep of uh, um, mind, man. Our people are dumb. Okay, they're spiritually sleep. Okay, um, it says, Ah, sinful, late, sinful, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors, they have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel onto anger, they are gone away backward. Why should you be stricken anymore? You know? Why should you 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 have to deal with not not eating um um properly? You know? Having your the, the, the water uh messed up. You know? Having to deal with the, the problems in this uh society, man. Our people getting gunned down, whether it's from the police or whether it's from our own people, okay? The script, the Lord is saying, why should you be stricken anymore? It says you will revolt more and more. Okay, you're going to revolt against the Lord, you know. No matter how much the Lord put put hell on you guys, y'all just not even going, going to even think on, on the Lord. Okay, it says the whole head is sick and the whole heart uh, faint. Okay, so spiritually, our people, mind, is 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 sick you know and when you look at the word sick it says affected by a physical or mental illness okay um feeling nauseous or wanting to vomit okay and one of the reasons why people like i said get sick in this society is because they're not eating the right right uh the right things okay but when it comes down to these scriptures, our people aren't aren't eating these scriptures the right way. Okay? They just getting that the, the sweet things, you know, rather than the bitter. Okay, you try to tell tell these people out here in this society, you know, to eat organic food. They don't want to do it. They want that processed bull crap. You know? You try to tell our people to 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 to, to follow the scriptures in the way that the Lord wrote them. And they don't want to do it, man. They want to make it out to what they want it to be. Okay? Um, that's why the scriptures say an idle soul shall suffer from hunger. Because our people, you know, they don't want to um they don't want to study. You know? They don't want to work on, on, on trying to get their, their spirit uh right, you know? And that's why they, they hunger hungering right now. When when uh 
when times get get hard out here, okay, and the famine of the word uh, happens, a lot of our people are gonna be wondering what the heck to do because they not they not getting fed right now, okay? They're gonna be wondering what the heck to do. How am I gonna get through these times? You know, and 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 they they in a sick state of mind right now, okay? This is First Thessalonians five and six. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others. But let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunk are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for a helmet, the hope of salvation. For Yahweh Bashem Yahweh have not appointed us to wrath, but to ob obtain salvation by our Lord Yahweh Shai, who died for us that whether we wake or sleep, we shall live together with them. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even as you also you do. Okay, so, you know, ultimately, the Lord, the one who the one ignorantly calls Jesus, died for the nation of Israel as a whole. Okay, but you have uh, the people who are awake and knows what's going on that are, that are, uh, the hopeful elect, the, the, the Lord's elect are going to be the first ones that are in the kingdom of the nation of Israel. But then ultimately all of the nation of Israel are going to come, come, um, come back in, the, um, the kingdom. Okay. And we all are going to, going to live with the Lord, you know, but that's where the scriptures say, you know, why shall you, uh, why shall you be stricken anymore, man? Cause the Lord is about to destroy two thirds of Israel. Okay, the ones that are asleep, okay, and he's going to bring them back in their right mind. Isaiah 29 and 10, for the Lord hath poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep and have closed your eyes, the prophets and your rulers, to see us, have he covered, you know, because they, these people out here, um, they, they, they trying to, um, mess the, the bible with this uh world okay when the two don't get along okay if you keep them with the, what's inside the bible you know you're not going to be getting along with this world okay so you got these prophets out here that the lord put that spirit of deep sleep on okay and once you're in that deep sleep you know it's hard for you to get up out of that man nobody can't you know, can't, can't, I'm talking about like spiritually, we, we can, we can try to push you and all type of stuff, kick you off the bed and, you know, you just not going to wake up, you know, because it's really not for, for everybody to, to wake up and get, okay, um, I'm going to jump down to the 14th verse, therefore behold, I will proceed to do a marvelous work among this people, even a marvelous work and a wonder. For the wisdom of their wise men shall perish, the ones that are asleep, you know, the ones that y'all think are the men of the Lord, that wisdom is going to perish. It says, and the understanding of their prudent men shall be hid, okay? And and the ones that, and it's already uh, hid right now because the ones that are, that are uh, really uh, down with the Lord, you know, it's hidden from y'all because y'all can't see it. You know, y'all steady uh, following the American dream, and in order to follow the American dream, you got to be sleep. You know, in order to dream, you really got to be sweet sleep, okay, or you got to be resting. Now I want to go into this word rest, right? It says a bodily state characterized by minimal. Functional and meto met metabolic, uh, I believe it's metabolic or metabolic um, activities, freedom from activity or labor. Okay, was in the kingdom, man. That's what's going to happen, man. We're going to have, we're going to be free from this hard labor, man. Where when we we caused to be ser served in this society. Okay, it said a station. I mean, a state of motionless or inactivity the repose of death a place for resting or lodging 
which America is not our uh, resting or lodging place. Okay, uh, spiritually, America is polluted. You know, that's like that trying to sleep in that um in that room with the the, the Febreze commercial. You know, and they covered covered the people's eyes and stuff like that, and they sprayed the Febreze, but you know, the whole time they was around nothing but junk, man. And that's that goes into America. It says a peace of mind or spirit. You can't really get no peace of mind or spirit in here in the, in, the, in this society. Okay. So, with that said, I wanted to get some scriptures on um, rest. Okay. Um, Psalm thirty-seven and seven. It says, "Rest in the Lord." Okay. And how do you rest in the Lord through these scriptures, man? The scriptures is our comfort comforter okay and when you go into a, a comforter okay even when when you go on a uh uh you have a, a a bed okay um a bed set okay um or you got a bed you got a bed set okay uh spiritually you know the, the the scriptures is our comforter, man. It's 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 our covering, man. It's it's what helps us sleep good, okay. When we resting in in the Lord, okay, because we through, throughout whatever comes our way, you know we know that the Lord uh, got us, man. You know, um, when when these times come come through uh, to America. We know that we're going to be able to get through them because we're resting in Yahweh Shimiyawasa. Okay, it says, and wait patiently for him. Fret not yourself because of him who prospers in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Okay, and the so-called white man is going to bring these wicked devices to pass, like the RFID chip. Okay, and when you see these things coming up, you see that they're trying to... Uh, um put the chip in people okay you understand that hey the, the the it is knowing at the time man you know it's time to wake up out of your sleep you know and rest in the lord you know put all your cares on the lord not your cares in this world okay the, like i said the scriptures is our comforter you know all 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 of the 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 the, the bible is supposed to Help us get through these times, man. You know? And and have that knowledge, wisdom, uh, and understanding of what's really, really going on. Um, Psalm 125 and 3. For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Okay? So when the so-called white man start bringing these wicked uh, devices to pass, right? And he start destroying our people for being uh, asleep. Okay, that's why the scriptures say that, you know, the Lord shall come as a thief in the night, you know, and I could get that, okay, but when the Lord, when the so-called white man uh, start uh, destroying our people and start beating them up, and you know, uh, spiritually, okay, um, the, the scripture says that the, the rod, their rod is not going to rest upon us. Okay, it's not going to lodge on, on us, man. It says, lest the righteous put forth their hand into iniquity. Okay. Um, so the Lord is going to make it, um, make, you know, when this, this uh, RFID chip come, okay, it's going to be quick, man. Okay, nothing that the so-called white man do is really going to rest on us. I mean, we might end up catching some type of hell. You know, go through the hour of temptation or something like that. But the Lord is going to, going to allow us to get through it. Okay. Um, Proverbs 29 and 9. If a wise man contends with a fool, whether he rage or laugh, there is no rest. Okay. And this one of the reasons why it's not, not um, this place is not our rest because, uh, you know, you got a lot of fools out here, man. You know, you try to correct them and. You, yeah, they, some of them might be atheist or whatever the case may be, you know, and they just don't want to, um, they just don't want to, um, uh, wake up, you know, they don't want to, um, get it, you know, um, 
I'm gonna get um, some more. Okay, you know you got your the, the the families, you know your children. Okay, you can't find no rest from off of these children really in this society. Okay, um, this is Isaiah eleven and two, and the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. Okay. Um, which I believe that that's talking about, uh, Yahweh Shah, okay? So we spoke the rest in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, okay? Um, Isaiah 28 and 12, to whom he said, this is the rest where you may cause the weary to rest. And this is the refreshing, yet they will not hear. You know, and that goes into telling our people who they, who they are. But they don't want to get it. They don't want to wake up. Okay. Um, I'm going to get one more uh, scripture out of the rest. Okay. Um, and when this so-called white man is, is taken down, the whole world is going to be at rest, man. The world is going to rest, man. The world needs this rest, man. You know. Amer this, this place can't uh, rest while this so-called white man drilling all type of holes into the to the world and you know uh eating up all the food you know that's supposed to be cleaning uh the the, the waters and stuff uh micah 2 and 10 arise ye and depart for this is not your rest this is not our uh, peace of mind or peace of spirit okay because it is polluted it shall destroy you even with a sword destruction okay um, this is, um, 2 Thessalonians, uh, 1 and 6. Seeing it is a righteous thing with your how about Simi Yahweh to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Because the so-called white man, this government, okay, the, 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 the ones that rule over the government, okay, they they trying to um trouble us, man. You know. They don't they don't they don't look at us as if we're uh human. You know you got a lot of people out here that look at people like they're not human. You know, um that that looks at other people like they're beneath them and stuff like that. You know, and that's that's pretty much the spirit of the so-called white man. You know. So the scriptures say that it is a righteous thing with Yahweh by Shemiah was saw. To recompense tribulation to them that trouble you, and to you who are troubled, the ones that the ones of you that that are going through uh, this life, you know, and you 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 know that shit is fucked up, you know, you might have uh, family members that are that are that are crazy, you know what I'm saying as far as the spirit goes, you know, um, you 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 know that uh, like homosexuality is wrong. You know, you know that uh, the that we supposed to be following the scriptures some somewhat. You know, you people that are troubled, you know that don't know what's really going on. You supposed to rest with us, man. And we tell you know we trying to tell y'all where the where the real rest is, man. It's in your help by Simeon Wasa. Okay, you know not in this place. You're not going to get no decent rest over here, man. Okay, it says. When the Lord Yahweh Shah shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels and flame and fire taking vengeance on them that know not God and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Yahweh Shah. Okay, so when the scripture says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, it is polluted and will destroy you with a sword destruction. This is that sword destruction that is going to come. To the people that don't know the Lord and the ones that was the ones that don't don't know the Lord is these Edomites and the ones that obey not the gospel are the Israelites. The so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. But as you saw earlier, the scripture says that whether the people who are asleep or woke, they're gonna be they're gonna come back in our kingdom in their right minds. Okay, they're gonna wake up, you know, in, in their right minds in the kingdom. Um who shall be punished 
with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. When he shall come to be glorified in his saints and to be admired in all them that believe because our testimony among you was believed in that day. Okay? So, you know, in order for you to, to be on the good side of this uh, salvation, you have to wake up out of your sleep, man. Okay? You have to get the, the, the right uh, therapy. Okay? Um, which we are we are all sick, man, in, in this society. Okay? Um, I just want to get this um, last definition. Okay? Uh, therapeutic, it says, pertaining to the healing of this ease. Curing, healing, to cure, treat medically, primarily do service, to take care of, provide for. You got to let the, the Lord provide for us, man. Okay? He, he provided the scriptures, you know, to comfort us. Okay? Um, he provide uh, the real brothers. Okay? You might you might have a situation where your homeboys and stuff might be trying to look at your girl to try to smash her, man. But, you know, real, real brothers ain't going to be doing that wicked shit, man. You know? So you coming to this truth, you know, it's this the real uh therapy. Okay? Um brothers do different types of videos and stuff. It says uh the branch of medicine concerned with treatment of disease, which we're talking about spiritually. Spiritually our people are they they have a disease, man. Okay? So um I'm going to get this. It says, having a good effect on the body or mind contributing to a sense of well-being. And you have to, first off, have get therapy for your spirit in order for your, your, your physical and your emotions and all that stuff to, um, to, to get uh, good, you know? So, pretty much, that's the point, man. You know, we got to wake up out of our sleep, you know? This is not our rest. Okay? Um, hopefully this lesson was edifying. And I want to say shalom until next time.